All right. Um, hello and welcome. This is Jasur from JR and Firm, also from Shanghai Silk Road. Uh, in today's presentation, I'd like to talk about the advantages of starting a company in Hong Kong. But before that, a little bit uh, background information about our company. Uh, as you can see, we have two locations uh, currently, one in the US and Shanghai Silk Road is located obviously in Shanghai, China. So uh, our services include uh, incorporation. We help entrepreneurs and uh, small to large companies enter different markets, including China, US, uh, EU, Hong Kong, Singapore, South Korea, Japan, Turkey, Tajikistan, Uzbekistan. Uh, these are Central Asian countries and also India and um, across South America. Also, uh, we provide post-company formation services. Uh, this include structuring, restructuring, liquidation, uh, maintenance of the company, and uh, accounting, audit, uh, corporate bank accounts. These are like main uh, corporate bank accounts for companies that we register and also offshore corporate accounts once the companies are fully formed. And uh, obviously uh, bilingual contracts uh, in the countries that we serve. Uh, that is, um, the contracts are going to be drafted in English and also in the local language. Now, um, also we provide a legal representation, um, especially in China, Hong Kong, Singapore and other countries that we serve in. Uh, upon request, uh, our, our legal representation uh, includes commercial dispute resolution, arbitration and lawsuits. Now, uh, also, uh, we uh, provide market research. Um, that is, uh, again, in all the countries that we serve in, but especially uh, we can serve you b best in China, Hong Kong and Singapore. And also, uh, we provide company due diligence. Um, this is a very interesting um, service, especially for people who are entering the Chinese market or signing agreements with local uh, factories and you know companies. Um, why do I say it's an interesting service? Is because you know, as most of you know, know that uh, China speaks uh, entirely different language and uh, Chinese. Uh, websites and databases are completely in Chinese and uh, the challenging part actually if you try to access those databases from outside of China uh, you your IP uh, because of your IP you might be blocked so yeah because of that we we receive a lot of requests from our clients on on this company due diligence uh, on their potential partners and clients and suppliers for example uh, and through our lawyers in China, uh, we have access to some of the, you know, uh, paid databases and membership databases. And also, uh, we collect uh, information from public databases on different companies. So this is something that, you know, uh, that is recommended for any serious, uh, you know, party that want to sign um, a contract with a local company. And uh, obviously, we provide uh, trading solutions, uh, this, uh, especially in China, um, because, you know, once again, like we mentioned in different videos, uh, starting a company and running it uh, in China might be challenging for, for some companies uh, or some, you know, individuals, uh, entrepreneurs. Um, merely because you know uh, this country speaks different language and it has obviously you know different uh, you know business culture, uh, different laws, uh, ups and downs. Uh, so therefore, most uh, some people, not most, some people or companies might prefer that they don't uh, set up a company and instead they do their businesses through you know, uh, this uh, trading solution services, for example, we uh, can uh, help you, uh, you know, uh, d finish your deals, uh, finish your trades using one of our companies here. And um, that includes like uh, special licenses. Uh, you don't have to really obtain those licenses, but we can use uh, our company that has that specific license because we, we have several companies in China 
uh, apart from Shanghai Silk Road, and uh, they were formed for different purposes, that is, you know, in different areas of trade. And we possess different kind of licenses, and that's import and export permits, uh, China back office, this is something, you know, we can provide, again, for, for companies and for uh, entrepreneurs who don't want to establish their own offices. Uh, we can uh, provide this back office service uh, on a contractual basis and quality assurance services for, you know, products uh, that you want to be checked before they are shipped. And uh, again, factory visits uh, if you require so. And uh, so, uh, tailor-made corporate consultancy. Uh, this is something based on your needs and requirements. So you can book a call uh, at jrandfirm.com slash appointments you can go ahead and check our website and uh, if you want to talk to us in person uh, via zoom or phone call uh, we will be happy to hear from you now uh, let's start the topic okay these are our contact details you can send us an email uh, we have you know uh, these emails are for uh, two companies now let's start the topic advantages of starting a uh, business in Hong Kong uh, as most of you know, I'm sure, um, where Hong Kong is located is, um, uh, is basically a special administrative region of China. Um, although it's a part of China, uh, it has different uh, ju uh, legislation. It's completely a different jurisdiction, legally speaking, with its own passport and uh, legal system. Uh, comparatively, uh, Chinese legal system is a civil law-based uh, uh, law uh, system, but uh, in uh, in Hong Kong, you've got you know common law based on British uh, tradition. Now, uh, location of Hong Kong uh, strategically uh, is very important because, as you can see here, uh, it's got access to the sea and it's you know very close to China, specifically in the south southern part of China, uh, it means that it, it's got, you know, uh, access to all these, um, you know, uh, factories, uh, production hubs here, uh, because southern China is famous for uh, different types of production. Uh, for example, this uh, Shenzhen area in Guangdong is very famous for technology products, and uh, if you go you know, further you will uh, discover a lot of different areas for different different types of products. Now, uh, apart from that, uh, Hong Kong is considered as um, a free economic zone. Uh, we, we will be discussing uh, the advantages, uh, you know, uh, a bit later. I'm going to mention, um, you know, all these advantages uh, of the region, uh, why one should consider Hong Kong you know, as a, as a uh, place of business. Now, um, but before we go ahead, uh, I'd like to mention that, you know, Hong Kong is recommended for any company or any entrepreneur uh, who want to enter the Chinese market. So basically, you will have two options. Uh, option number one is directly setting up a company in mainland China uh, but option number two uh, is setting up a company in Hong Kong first and using that Hong Kong company uh, to set up a base in China. So this way you will have the advantage of you know, Hong Kong, <laughs> the full package, uh, because you know, in Hong Kong the legislation is uh, much more liberal, uh, is actually number three in terms of ease of doing business uh, in the world. Um, like uh, it offers a lot of flexibility, especially in uh, foreign currency exchange and uh, others. So let's start. Now I'm going to count uh, quickly. Uh, so World Bank's ease of doing business, like I mentioned already, uh, report ranks Hong Kong number three among 190 countries in the world. Uh, that's something you know very important to consider when. Um, registering a company anywhere in the world actually so being number three uh, it already gives you that you know promise uh, or assurance uh, so to speak that um, the, the place uh, that you are basing your company in is uh, quite strong uh, in uh, in different areas um, and also heritage foundation lists hong kong as the freest economy in the world um, 
Hong Kong company can be incorporated with one director and one shareholder of any nationality. No residency requirements. This is also very important because, you know, again, when you are setting up a company in China, you have the same uh, requirements, but still, you know, opening a, uh, for example, bank account in China might not be possible uh, without visiting China. But in Hong Kong, you don't have to really visit in order to open a bank account. We can do it from distance. Now, next advantage uh, in Hong Kong is fast incorporation. Hong Kong companies can be obtained, uh, can, can obtain um, their business license in uh, one to three days, literally. Uh, we can do it in one day uh, with uh, expedited service. So this is uh, something very important. And company director and shareholders are not required to travel to Hong Kong, like I mentioned earlier, in person during company formation. Um, and no paid up capital, very important, uh, because, you know, again, in China, there is something called registered capital, just to compare. Uh, registered capital also exists in Hong Kong, but the difference is in Hong Kong, you're not expected to pay up that registered capital. But in China, in mainland China, when you set up a company, uh, registered capital is, is written initially, but you are expected to pay that capital within the validity of your business license. So it is still expected, okay? In the beginning, registered capital is, um, is listed or is registered as a promise or as commitment uh, to your business. But in Hong Kong, uh, no such thing exists, okay? You just, uh, there's nothing like paid up capital. Uh, with one dollar uh, of share capital, you can just start the company in Hong Kong and you're not even expected to pay up that one dollar. So uh, next thing uh, is no physical office requirements. Again, this is a huge difference uh, between mainland China and Hong Kong. In Hong Kong, you don't have to present a physical office even for opening a bank account. But in mainland China, you will have to present a physical office. Uh, this is something, you know, we can provide, obviously, in mainland China. But, uh, you know, it's again a requirement where in Hong Kong, you don't have such requirement. Hong Kong is one of the best low tax jurisdictions in the world. Uh, so we can see this in, uh, in these terms. For example, a Hong Kong company is legally tax exempt if it doesn't have any Hong Kong sourced income. So a company can claim an offshore status. Imagine that your all of your income is coming from outside of Hong Kong. In that case, you don't have to pay or you will not be asked to pay any tax in Hong Kong. Okay, and then... Uh, you can claim that offshore status. Uh, but again, uh, in this scenario, um, you cannot have clients from Hong Kong itself or payments for that matter. Now, no withholding tax, sales tax, VAT, import, export, or capital gains taxes. Literally speaking, Hong Kong doesn't have any taxes, uh, any such taxes here listed uh, in this example. And... Um, if a company has operations in Hong Kong, for example, you, you might have some clients in Hong Kong or some sort of uh, Hong Kong sourced income. In this case, the corporate tax is also one of the lowest in the world at 16.5% flat. And uh, Hong Kong resident companies, uh, again, with operations in Hong Kong, will benefit from Hong Kong's 37 double taxation treaties to lower their withholding tax on payments abroad. For example, uh, let's assume that uh, you're, you, you have a, a mother company in the US and you open a subsidiary company in Hong Kong using that US company and this subsidiary company has some operations in Hong Kong. Now, in this case, uh, your Hong Kong company will be able to uh, take benefit uh, from 37 double taxation treaties okay, to lower their uh, lower its withholding tax payments uh, abroad. All right, so it's very important to consider. Um, and Hong Kong does not charge tariffs on imports and exports. It's a huge advantage, actually. Okay, so for example, you know you are uh, exporting to China or importing from China. You can use your Hong Kong uh, company as a base uh, for re-exports or re-imports, basically. And um, 
No, number nine, minimal bureaucracy. Uh, any licensing and other paperwork uh, do not generally take long. Uh, for example, generally speaking, uh, Hong Kong companies do not require any special licenses, um, you know, as a get-go, like for trading company, consulting company. But, uh, however, there are some areas, for example, tourism or tobacco sales, alcohol sales, etc. They might need some special licensing, but even, even uh, in those scenarios, uh, it doesn't take very long uh, to apply and uh, obtain those special licenses. And number 10, along with Chinese, English is an official language in Hong Kong. Uh, this is a huge advantage, especially for uh, companies entering the Chinese market. Um, because, you know, the, the language different, difference might be a huge barrier uh, for business. But uh, if you base your company in Hong Kong, uh, you don't have to worry about actually speaking Chinese or Mandarin or Cantonese. Uh, because English is considered one of the official languages uh, in all areas, okay, in banking, in uh, government documents, forms, etc. And obviously people as well, uh, almost everyone speaks perfect English there. So getting a bank credit is uh, comparatively easier. Uh, Hong Kong is ranked number 37 best jurisdiction in the world for securing business credit. Uh, that is a very impressive uh, ranking actually because uh, considering we've got uh, 190 jurisdictions uh, around the world uh, for this list and uh, out of 190 it's uh, 37. So, uh, next advantage is, according to Global Financial uh, Centers Index 2022, Hong Kong is number three in the world. And, uh, obviously, almost all major financial firms, insurance companies, banks and asset management uh, firms have their offices in Hong Kong. And uh, it gives you a huge advantage um, to be closer uh, to those companies. If you have any, like, for example, if you want to hire somebody or some asset management company or if you want to open a uh, you know corporate bank account you immediately have access to to the best of the best and uh, number 13 um, no exchange controls that we mentioned already uh, to restrict uh, foreign direct investment or income repatriation and because of this hong kong can be an excellent location for treasury accounts cash management accounts and other corporate banking services like again i get, i i made this example uh, assuming you have a, a mother company in the us or somewhere else uh, we have a client for example from brazil um, they uh, opened their hong kong company they opened their china company using the uh, you know mother company in brazil for uh, income repatriation, uh, for example, if they want to send all the earnings back to Brazil, uh, there is no uh, exchange controls uh, for that. Okay? You can easily send using your online banking. And uh, this is a huge, huge advantage, actually, compared to China, at least. And um, next advantage is Hong Kong is a special administrative region of China that this we already mentioned and the free economic zone itself. Therefore, it's a great location for foreign investors who want to have their uh, regional distribution base and headquarters in this uh, region. Uh, literally speaking, if you go to Hong Kong, uh, it's free economic zone. Uh, all the products, uh, they don't have tax on top of them. They don't have a VAT on top of them. You can uh, literally see it in everyday life. Um, and because of that, uh, it, makes, uh, you know, uh, it makes the region uh, very special uh, for trade, uh, for import and export. And number 15, uh, it's number 12, least corrupt government in the world according to Corruption Perceptions uh, Index. And also, when we consider uh, uh, like all the countries in the world, 190 plus countries, being number 12 least corrupt government in the world uh, puts Hong Kong in a very, very, you know, uh, advantageous, very, uh, you know, impressive uh, place, basically. Uh, why? Because, you know, corruption is something to be considered, level of corruption when establishing a company in any jurisdiction. You don't want to be, for example, forming a company uh, in a highly corrupt uh, region. Uh, of course, you know, there are some other elements as well, but still, uh, when you're trying to, you know, uh, develop a business, 
you need to make sure that the region has uh, you know minimal corruption levels and next advantage is highly skilled competitive uh, productive and well educated local workforce most of whom are fluent in at least three languages uh, these are English Mandarin Chinese and Cantonese so naturally uh, Ho Hong Kong you know uh, being a part of China um, most people speak uh, Chinese Mandarin and also Cantonese uh, version of uh, the Chinese language uh, well Cantonese you know probably it's considered a separate language uh, in itself but still it's spoken uh, in Hong Kong and uh, as official language English is also so you you naturally expect people uh, in Hong Kong uh, like local workforce uh, to speak at least three languages but of course being uh, such a financial center uh, center of um, business uh, Hong Kong offers uh, a lot of um, you know highly skilled foreign talent as well so you will have immediate access uh, to them uh, both local and foreign talent and uh, next advantage is cost-effective company registration uh, registering and maintaining a company in Hong Kong is, is comparatively cheap uh, com again compared to uh, other uh, jurisdictions in the world uh, for example you know just to just to consider there's no uh, paid up capital in Hong Kong uh, puts Hong Kong uh, you know in a very good uh, situation compared to EU countries for example you know where in Germany for example if you want to open a company uh, you need to pay up this 25,000 euros you know um, initial investment initial like uh, paid up capital uh, but uh, in Hong Kong there is no such thing and also maintaining the company uh, you don't have to bear a lot of costs uh, or annually or monthly and um, 18 international transportation hub with excellent connections and infrastructure facilities that we can see here uh, for example Hong Kong's international airport is the busiest in all of Asia and the Pacific handling more than 50 million passengers seasonally and hosting direct flights to over 150 international destinations um, that's that's a lot actually so it basically makes Hong Kong very very strategic place to base especially important export business also service-based businesses and uh, more than 100 international shipping lines operate from Hong Kong connecting to over 5,000 destinations worldwide and uh, next Hong Kong corporate bank accounts come with multiple currencies uh, each with its own IBAN and SWIFT numbers can directly receive payments from Amazon, PayPal, WeChat, Alipay, Shopify, eBay and other platforms and uh, number 20 uh, it's relatively easy to get a work visa this is also very important uh, and relocate to Hong Kong by registering company just to compare again uh, because we provide a lot of um, you know we provide this uh, corporate consultancy in many uh, countries uh, you know around the globe uh, so for example in the US if you want to you know register a company and relocate uh, you will have to actually invest a lot of money uh, US have uh, this uh, EB5 uh, visa for example for investors and recently the requirement for that um, uh, has been changed to eight hundred um, uh, thousand dollars for example minimal investment and plus you need to create local um, uh, like um, uh, employment uh, opportunities at least you need to hire ten uh, uh, you know US citizens but in Hong Kong no such thing exists you can form a company uh, you are not expected to invest a lot of money uh, actually there are some strategies in place that we can assist you with uh, you don't have to invest anything you just have to register a company and provide that you qualify of course there are some qualifications um, uh, required uh, in order to obtain a work visa but it's still possible Hong Kong is a developed region um, with uh, you know uh, highly advanced infrastructure technology so you can easily relocate yourself your family and your uh, team if you're a startup uh, to Hong Kong by simply registering a company and now um, I want to also mention before we close this presentation uh, you can if you have any questions 
uh, you can always go ahead and send us an email. In the beginning of the presentation, uh, we mentioned our contact details. Uh, but uh, briefly speaking, this is uh, this our, our websites. Uh, our emails are contact at jrnfirm.com uh, and also contact at silkroadinter.trade. Uh, feel free to send your questions, um, not only about Hong Kong. Actually, you know, uh, again in the beginning, I mentioned that we provide uh, company formation uh, and post-company formation services in many many jurisdictions around the globe, including Hong Kong, China, U.S., EU countries and South America and uh, in Central Asian countries as well. So all right guys, uh, so I will be happy to hear from you. Uh, any questions are welcome. Thanks for watching. Uh, see you guys in the next one. Thanks.